You are listening to the podcast of the Alexander von Humboldt Institute for Internet and Society. We report on the leading role that new technologies play in the context of the global information society, interviewing academics and industry leaders. Today I'm here with Victor Meyer Schönberger, who is one of the leading researchers in uh, internet and society issues worldwide, I would say, and the most inspiring guy I know uh, discussing uh, issues on internet governance and a broader perspective. Um, working with the Oxford Internet Institute right now uh, has been working um, in Harvard on um, network regulation issues and where we met first, I think. Um, and um, what I would like to know and to inquire is uh, what is your approach right now on internet and society issues? What are the main issues you are working on? Uh, what we're working on uh, in Oxford uh, uh, with my team and with others at the Oxford Internet Institute is really to understand the social dynamics that the Internet as a space and as a technological artifact and phenomenon uh, creates or helps shape and facilitates. Um, and I personally am particularly interested in governing and governance, the issue of who has control uh, or who has the ability to shape and reshape the information flows on the internet. Is there a specific approach you, you follow there? I, I perceive, and um, that's a track we want to follow as well, that it's a combination from normative uh, analysis and empirical research. Is that true? That, that is very much true. I think uh, internet governance or information flow governance um, in the past maybe 15 years or so has suffered from a dichotomy f between theorists and empiricists. Mm -hmm. I think the theorists would need more empirics and the empirics would need some theoretical guidance. We hope at the OII to bring this together and we hope to work with others to advance that agenda. We've uh, just talked in a workshop about the uh, notion of intermediaries and their role in uh, um, governance structures. Uh, what is your um, observation there right now? Are there differences to traditional intermediaries we know, like the media or other, or is there, are there similar uh, tracks that uh, the development in the internet follows? What we see is that um, a lot of the conventional existing information intermediaries uh, are under pressure. Uh, to um, either reinvent themselves or reconfigure themselves, they also are under pressure through new intermediaries that crop up. So the landscape of intermediaries is going to be reshaped and reconfigured. That, in our view, does not necessarily mean that the intermediaries go away, but they might be different intermediaries coming up or different relationships among these intermediaries and uh, with uh, the the citizens and the, the, the providers uh, on both ends. And that is very interesting to study. I don't believe that we are running out of intermediaries, but I do believe that we see very interesting dynamics in how the landscape of intermediaries gets reshaped. Do you think that uh, this um, importance and dangers maybe of intermediaries are um, um, in the focus of the internet research worldwide or are they neglected rather? I, I, I strongly believe that we could do much more to look at the intermediaries. Um, I believe that this is uh, very much understudied on the um, sort of governance and gov um, the, the, the more formalistic governance research that we hear that often bases itself in, in law. Mm -hmm. Um, and doesn't understand that a lot of the intermediaries uh, out there on the internet now have the ability to set rules and to enforce them uh, quite apart from what the legal system in certain nation states would command or would put forward. Uh, and in that sense, it is quite important to understand the role of governance in a much larger framework, uh, not just within sort of the the, the existing uh, players, uh, the nation state, uh, international organizations, but uh, as the ecosystem of many more players. Uh, and it, it also requires that some of the established players, like the governments, should engage with these unorthodox new mm -hmm. players. Um, you are very familiar with the German research scene as well. And um, um, sometimes um, one might wonder whether um, 
thinking in boxes like legal issues or legal issues and social um, uh, science issues or social science issues that uh, that is very much the approach in Germany. Would you uh, think that's right? I don't want to criticize uh, 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 my, my German colleagues and friends uh, too, too openly. But, but I do want to commend uh, work, for example, that you did at the Hans Bredow Institute uh, to look beyond existing categories or buckets um, mm. and to try and understand uh, the, the changing shape of, of, of governance and governing mm. uh, with new actors, new mechanisms of enforcement and so forth uh, coming into play. Uh, and I hope that the Institute here in Berlin will be able to take some of uh, the work that you have done at the Hans Bredo Institute and expand that and, uh, and, and, and do more stuff on that. Mm. Yeah, we try to do that, um, definitely. Um, are there any research questions that you um, came across recently or have uh, learned here, um, rephrased here at the uh, symposium, which might um, shape our agenda for the Institute for the next couple of years? I think if we could go beyond the question of internet governance mm -hmm. or beyond the question of who owns, who controls that internet, mm -hmm. uh, that technical infrastructure or anything like that, if we could beyond that and look at the information, the bits that flow mm -hmm. and the governance and governing of the bits and bits flows, then I think we would have made a conceptual step forward. Excellent. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.